Alright, well, what the fuck's happening, Facebook? This your boy, Eat That Pussy 445. Um, just wanted to share a little story with y'all. Well, a couple of reasons, you know, you already know I live out here in fucked up Bakersfield. And, um, got some stuck up ass women out here. Well, some, not all. I remember this one time, I was walking to uh, the store. Number one, I was walking to the store. No, I take that back. Me and my mom, whole family was going to the store. But I thought I'm about to get some shit for Thanksgiving. And I was walking past, you know, beautiful ass chick, um, Hispanic chick, walk, walk, walking past. I'm looking like, hey, how you doing? Look at that fat one. I'm looking like, well, fuck you then, my nigga. I'm over here trying to, you know, you know, she giving motherfuckers a look like. I'm looking like, bitch, what's up? Tripping, man. You know, some women out here, man, they stuck up like a motherfucker, man. You can't. It's like if you say hi, it's like, bitch, who are you and what the fuck is your motive? Crazy. Another reason. Oh, and number two. Um, I was walking to the store. I was walking to the store this trip. Walking to the store, and this lady. Must have dropped. I think. I think she. I think she must have dropped five dollars. You know. I'm saying. I'm a nice person. You know. If you drop money, nigga, I'm gonna give it right back to you. That's if I see you drop it. So she dropped five dollars out of her pocket. I pick it up to her. Chase it down. I go. You know. I tap on the shoulder. Excuse me, ma'am. You dropped this. Wham! She snatches the shit. I'm looking like. And she don't even say thank you, appreciate it, or nothing. She just snatches the shit out of my motherfucking hand. I'm looking like. Now, I could have been fucked up and just took the goddamn money. I could have done, nigga, I could have just been rolling the fuck on out. Shit, nigga, hey, if you ask me, some orange chicken for my ass. Um, uh, number three. I remember this one time I was at high school, um, I, I was at school. We went to school in L.A., losing it. Fucked up school, always rides and shit. So, what happened is that, um, I was walking... I was, uh, I was in math class. Said hi to this chick. Hey, how you doing? You know, trying to get to know her, you know. You must have fine as hell. Looks can be deceiving, though. Said hi, how you, how you doing? I'm finding you. I'm looking like, okay, cool, you know. So, we were there chilling and stuff. And she, and she drops her homework and she snatches the shit. Well, she, well, she drops her homework. I pick it back up. I give it to her. She she he gives me a fucked up look like You know how women always do. They like to sit up down, look up and down and shit like I'm looking like motherfucker. I can look up and down at your ass too, what's up? You know? And I remember this one time I almost had to fight a girl, man. We was about to duke it out, nigga been the fucking class, man. She always used to fuck with me. I think her name was uh what was her name? Um, her name was uh, Shireen, I think it was. And she, she used to always fuck with me. Fat out with this, fat out with that. I'm looking like, you know what, man? Fuck this. I took it, man. I dropped my fucking backpack. I threw this shit off the table. I'm looking like, you know what, man? Fuck it, my nigga. Me and you, we about to get this shit on and cracking, motherfucker. I'm, I'm sick of your shit. And then I had to be taken out the classroom. Number four was when I was walking to the store again. You know, I always have fucked up experiences every time I go to the store. Walking to the store, and this lady, she, um, I guess she must have, um, she must have did something fucking stupid. Um, well, actually, I was inside the store. And, you know, um, she was trying to get this candy bar. She ain't have enough money for it. So, I think the candy bar was like 89 cents. So I went on and paid for it. She accepts the fucking money and don't even say thank you. Don't even say I appreciate it. She don't say shit. She just takes the shit and just beat the fuck on out. It's really messed up, man. Women out here are stuck up like a motherfucker, man. Well, some of them are. Nigga, not all of them. And number five, I was, um, I was walking to the mailbox. And this lady dropped her mail, and she snapped. <laughs> lady drops her mail. I'm nice enough. I pick it up. 
give it to her. She snatches the shit out of my hand. I don't know what the fuck it is with women out here. They always like to sit up there and snatch shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, they always like, like to snatch shit. You know, they always like to sit up there and twist their fucking neck and shit. Nigga, like they stone cold. Nigga on the raw intro or some shit. She snatches the shit. Don't even say thank you. Don't even say um, appreciate it. Don't even say, um, don't say anything. Just snatches the shit. Like this one girl. I don't, um, like this one chick. Nigga, she, I think she stays um, across, um, across the apartment complex. Spanish chick. Mean as fuck, man. Just mean as hell. Um, I think her kid must have uh, must have popped her wheel, must have popped his wheel off the scooter, and that was nice enough to give him some screws and fix the scooter for him. She sit up there, I don't know what the fuck she said in Spanish. I don't understand Spanish people. She gets mad as fuck, and she and she says, "Come in the house, come in the house now. Don't be around him." I'm looking like, well, fuck you too, then, bitch. You know, I, don't, I mean, I don't mean to call women the b-word, but you know. If you come at me, nigga, I'm going to have to come at you, Swift. That's basically it. Just a little story I wanted to share with y'all about, about these stuck-up-ass women out here in Bakersfield, man. It's your boy, that Pussy 445 I'm gone, peace. Have a good one, and see you later, Facebook. I'll be posting up some crazy shit, and I'll be acting a fool. Peace out.